What's up, guys? Uh, this is something I haven't really covered a lot on my channel, when really I should, and I'm kind of a dumbass for not covering it. But uh, I'm very, very anti-government. Uh, you could call me a crazy revolutionary if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not exactly as violent as some people. I'm somewhat pacifistic in nature. I'm a Christian. But uh, I'm extremely anti-government, which does make me somewhat of, a, of an oddball because I don't really fit in with a lot of groups of people. But I do believe strongly in militias. And I just want to say to all three percenters, uh, cheers to all you guys out there doing your thing. All militias everywhere. People who hold it down, who are prepared to fight, you know, when government becomes unruly because it can very well happen. Um, you know, it's just... Uh, I think it's so great we have this and I just recently found out that there are a lot more militias than I thought of in America you know I used to just think it was mainly just like with the Nazis and neo-Nazis and maybe a few other types of people but it's everywhere bro like there's a lot of militias in America even around the world not just America but um you know with countries like America we are in trouble uh, there's a lot of corruption going on. Um, Donald Trump is doing his part. You know, he's doing everything he can. But, you know, you never know what tomorrow brings. And that's why I'm glad to know these dudes are out there doing their thing. Um, I live in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I live in actually a suburb of Houston. I would love to join a militia. Unfortunately, I just don't think there's any out here. Uh, you know, bumfuck suburbs. I mean, what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Uh, militias are more more so like in the country um, Places, you know, like Alabama, but also in other places as well um, But yeah, I would love to start a militia one day. I might do that. But until then I'm just gonna keep fighting the cyber war uh, You know in, in, in the uh, quoting info wars, you know, there is a war on for your mind your mind is the greatest weapon. You can use your mind to fight evil, even without physical, you know, things like guns and knives. You can fight a war online, and that's what I'm doing, guys. You know, um, exposing the truth. Um, even stuff like trolling. I believe trolling is good as well. You know, uh, um, fucking shit up. You know, hacking the system. All that good stuff. But I would love, I would love, to fight for my country in other ways. Uh, believe it or not, I even thought about joining the military as a young man. Uh, this was years ago. I was 18. Um, people came to my school, military, you know, Marines, uh, Navy, uh, Army. But this was back in the Iraqi war with George W. Bush Jr. Um, you know, I knew about the corruption and how a lot of it was just for oil and stuff like that. You know, this was when uh, Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 9-11 came out. I remember I saw that at the movies. Um, so I knew shit was going down, and I knew that, you know, it wasn't worth the fight. And um, But I, I wanted to, though. I, I wanted to join the military, believe it or not. I had a friend, too, who was big in the military. And God bless him. He's still out there doing his thing. He's still in the military. Uh, it's been over 11 years since I've been in high school. 12 years ago since I've been in high school. And... Um, you know, I, I envy him for that because I, even though I do feel like I'm making a difference in the cyber web, I mean, it's just you, you want to be able to fight. You know what I mean? You want to be able to hold a gun, practice, you know, you know, be out there doing stuff. I never had that experience. I mean, <laughs> the closest thing I ever had was fucking playing Call of Duty and shit like that. But uh, I'm very envious of people who are in militias, and one day, maybe one day, I'll move up north and I'll join one. Um, so again, you know, cheers. God bless to all three percenters out there. I just want to give a shout out to all of you. Um, for those of you who don't know, three percenter means that's basically the percentage of people who are in a militia in America. And even though that may not be a lot, um, they're still out there doing things. And for everyone who thinks that they're crazy, you know, that they're like psychotic, you know, revolutionaries, that's not true at all. They're just normal, everyday people who are concerned about what could happen if government becomes unruly. Because, guys, I can tell you right now, I mean, that could happen tomorrow. We could be in absolute chaos tomorrow. Um, all it takes, you know, is a few things for things to go crazy, you know, for things to go completely unruly. 
you know, an EMP strike for one. If we got all our electricity knocked out, we'd be in chaos, guys. And, you know, who would protect us then if government became corrupt? See? Nobody. It would be utter chaos. So keep that in mind, guys. Respect militias. Respect people who care about you and who want to help us in case things do get crazy. Because I can promise you guys, it could happen. All right? So don't feel so snugly and safe you know in your bed because I can tell you this right now guys our government is very corrupt in America I mean government all over the world is corrupt but especially in places you know first world countries like America uh, there's so much power and when you have so much power you can do a lot a lot of bad so anyways guys thanks for watching um, and God bless to all those in the military as well you know, risking their lives, even though I didn't join the military, even though, you know, it's, it's not something I want to do. I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's risking their lives for the freedom of the future. So God bless. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.